Welcome again guys, welcome to Christmas Caribbean Delights and here you'll see I'm preparing a curry sauce. I'm going to just do a few pieces of crab, um, snow crab, uh, curry, curry snow crab. And um, I have in this, this, this combination here, I have some green onions, uh, some a white onion, some green seasoning, curry, curry powder, and garam masala and some cumin. And I'm just cooking this up for a while so that the spices could release their flavors and their aroma before adding any, uh, any liquid to it. And I just have a few pieces of uh, frozen snow crab, which I'm gonna just let them talk for a while and uh, before I put them in there. So let this cook for a minute and I'll be back. To the sauce, I'm going to, once this is nice and fried up and, and the spices are cooked, I'm adding some coconut milk. To this, I'll just add a half a teaspoon of, or maybe one teaspoon of bouillon, bouillon powder, chicken bouillon. A dash of tagine. That's a lot of salt there. Don't want too much salt. I have a little bit of heat in here already. Let's get that heat going. Pepper flakes. And just once we got those two, our curry sauce all simmering there. Time to add our crab. And I'll just. I don't want a lot of sauce. I don't want it to be really runny. I just want it to uh, coat the crab and let the crab absorb some of the liquid, some of the flavor. So I'm just gonna be tossing it around and making sure it's uh, covered. Making sure that it's all covered. A spoon will do that better, right? Huh? Let's get a spoon. Yeah, we'll just, just toss this around. And let it, let it simmer in this curry sauce. Nothing too fancy. Just add a touch of water, just a little bit, so that it can just need a little more liquid. Now I'll just drop a cover on here and cover it for, for about five minutes and then I'll be done. Turned up the heat a little and just let this simmer. Nice and bubbly, okay. I 
as I said, I don't want a lot of liquid. So I just let the liquid render off while the crabs absorb the flavor. Turn over that. I'm going to turn the over. Good. for a couple more minutes so that the uh, liquid could evaporate and leave that wonderful coconut milk, that coconut flavor in there. Here we go, this is a wonderful bunjal crab, bunjal crab. Crab bunjal. So this up with some roti, rice, however you feel like it, you just eat it just like that. Turn the fire off and let's start plating. And here we have it, a wonderful bunjal crab plate. I have my bunjal crab there, a little bit of salad, and this is my, um, my bitter curd or my bitter melon, stuffed bitter melon, a piece of stuffed bitter melon. A little bit of white rice and a piece of avocado a perfect sunday plate hey thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next clip all the details will be in the description box below and you can try this out try this recipe see you later thank you for watching not forgetting, nothing is comp no no curry dish for me is complete is complete without a cup of dal. So I have have here a cup of dal. I have some chicken foot in there, <laughs> and some pigtails. Awesome, a cup of dal with my curry dish, and this is heaven. Bon appetit.